Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well. In this video, I like to talk to you about a parking. And the parking I will be sharing on this video is the parallel parking, which is stop alongside of a car and then reverse behind that car, reasonably close to the pavement, meaning a parking position, and then move off safely without having to reverse back. First, I will explain and then I will show you how it's done in practice. Um, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and uh, let's start the lesson. Okay, so let's talk about the parallel parking, which is known as either parallel parking or reverse parking. So the examiner firstly will ask you to stop somewhere safe on the left. So you will stop here safely and then he's going to ask you to use this car for parallel parking, meaning go alongside of the car and then reverse behind that car and then when he ask you to move off make sure you move off without having to reverse back so when you finish you must finish leaving enough space for you to move off also um, not going too much back because the idea of this parking is that you are parking between two cars so when you're doing the parking you have to imagine there is another car behind you so you're doing in between two cars. So this will be your car. You stopped, put the handbrake on, neutral. So the examiner asks you to move off from here. So then it will be your responsibility to move off from here to there. So basically your maneuver or your parking starts from here. So first you will do is put the clutch down, first gear, set the gas. Look all around including a blind spot, signal and move off from here and go and stop around here about here so your car little bit forward and about one door space in between your car and the part car now when you're doing this parking the examiner is looking for three things he will be testing you on three things. Number one, which is the control of your car, how you control your car. Observations, are you looking all around? If there is somebody coming, are you stopping and are you giving them away? And position, which is not hitting the pavement or not too far from the pavement, not going too far from the parked car and enough for you to move off. So this space between you and the car in front, enough to move off and not too far from it. So these are the three things you will be, you will be tested on. Now, when you are learning with the driving instructor, he will give you a different method. But the idea of any method is for you to make sure that you are making sure that you're covering all those three. Control of your car, observation and position. Now. I'm going to give you a method which I feel it is easier but whatever the method your instructor gives you it is best for you to memorize the method your instructor gives you it is important for you to memorize it now I'm going to give you one now your instructor might give you a different one which means this one works also the one your instructor gives you will work also and they all work as long as you memorize each step it will be easier for you to do the parking and the only way it will be easier for you to do the parking is to memorize the steps for you to um, do the parking so in the beginning my advice to you would be is to do each step by stopping stop in each step memorize it and then once you memorize then do it all in one go okay so my advice to anybody who's learning this parking is to do each step by stopping in each step and memorizing it and then once you memorize this step do it all in one go so now that we're here first thing we will do is put the clutch down go to reverse gear no signal because the reverse light will be the signal for others to see you that you are reversing so your signaling will be the reverse light 
no signaling meaning um, the indicator lights doesn't need to come on because you've got the reverse lights on then you will look all around full circle make sure no one is coming and look over your shoulder at the back and then start reversing backwards keep going back until back of your car is in line with the part car so it's level the back is level with the part car once it's leveled do one circle to left so your steering wheel do one circle to left one full circle which is 60 minutes towards left once you've done that the car is going to start to go in the back front is going to go out so the back will start to go in the front will go out which means look over your shoulder make sure no one is overtaking you the car will start to go keep going until the car becomes in an angle in this position which is around I said one o'clock so if this is 12 o'clock when your car reaches around one o'clock stop the car there do one circle to right this time so this time one circle to right one full circle which is 60 minutes towards right once you've done that make you look around make sure no one's coming and keep going back when, when the car is going back make sure you look over your shoulder at the back most of the time but keep looking all around make sure no one's coming look on the side mirror to see you are reaching the pavement keep going back until the back end of your car this corner reaches the pavement and you are around 15 inches away from the pavement obviously your instructor will give you a reference how much is 15 inches when you look at the mirror on the side mirror so make sure you memorize that on the mirror when you see this corner the distance once you know you've reached that 15 inches do full circle right now this time full circle lock not once but all the way as much as it goes full right lock once you've done full right lock make sure you look all around make sure no one's coming the car will start to be coming straight keep going until the car is straight when the car is straight stop get the wheel straight and then an inch back so the wheel is straight stop and break on neutral that's the end of your test while you are doing the parking make sure you constantly look around if there is somebody coming stop put the handbrake on and wait if they go around let them go if they stop for you then you keep going but keep looking in case they want to go while you are doing the parking if they want to go stop again let them go look around again and then carry on now like I said this is one of the method I'm giving you but not that you will get this method from your driving instructor so the method your driving instructor gives you memorize that by each step and the once you memorize this step do all in one go once you can do all in one go it means you have mastered the parking so my advice always I would say always try to memorize the method your instructor gives you I've given you one but there are many method different instructor will give you different method the one you get from your instructor memorize that method and it will be easier for you practice a few times make sure that you master the method once you've mastered do all in one go and that will be enough for you to do the parking nicely now let's look at how it's done in practice so I will show you now how it's done in practice but like I said I'm giving you this one in practice but your instructor will give you maybe a different one and memorize that so the examiner asks you to use the car in front uh, to do a parallel parking so the first thing you do is to set the car clutch down first gear set the gas then you would look around all the way to your blind spot you would signal right as you're moving off from here to that car blind spot again and as the car moves one more time blind spot and then you move around 
here. Then you start from here, look your blind spot, and you go back until. This position, blind spot again, and one turn to left. Keep looking, keep looking around, blind spot, keep looking when you are about. In this position, one turn to right, blind spot, keep looking. Every now and again, look at the side mirror to see if you're close to the pavement. Keep looking around as you're doing it. If there is somebody coming, make sure you stop. And you would be going close to the pavement, I'm looking at the back. And then once you are close to the pavement, full right look. I'm still looking all around. There is a car, I'll wait for that car. Car just went, blinds wood again, look around and keep going. Keep looking at the back. Once I know the car is straight, every now and again, look around. Look at the front, is the car straight? Yes, get the wheel straight, inch back, and we stop. Handbrake on, neutral, rest your feet. And then the examiner asks you to move off. Clutch down, first gear, look full circle, blind spot, signal right. As I'm looking, it's safe to go. I could see somebody coming, so I will wait for that car to go. Once the car goes, full round again. Every time you stop for someone, and if there is somebody coming, before you go, make sure you look at the blind spot again. So blind spot, blind spot, and one more time, and I move off. Okay, that's it for today and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give a thumbs up and uh, please do make a comment on the video, what you think of the video. And then uh, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And I uh, hope to see you again on the next video. Bye for now.